Hi, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today in this video, I wanted to go ahead and kind of jumpstart you guys with the Pantheon system for 3.0. Now we're currently playing in the 2.6 beta, so some changes may go underway, but for the most part, this is this is all going to be accurate. So we're going to talk about kind of how to get the Pantheon system going, um, and mainly just how to upgrade it, I guess, because there's like multiple tiers of them. So first off, one thing to state is you can have one major god and one lesser and or minor god. Um, so let's go over, I guess, the stats of each one first. So you've got for the major gods, Soul of Brine King. And the really cool thing about Soul of the Brine King is it kind of works like a amulet of Cheula for CI builds because it says you cannot be stunned if you've been stunned recently. And the big thing about that is it prevents you from getting stun locked, which is really cool. And you can see the other bonuses that follow. Um, Soul of Lunaris, I mean, I can't really go into the pros and cons of each one, but I'm just going to kind of hover over each one for you guys so you can kind of see them. But it's pretty cool because as you're getting surrounded, you gain physical mitigation, which is not too bad for things like breaches and whatnot, where you're constantly getting swarmed. Um, then we've got the Soul of Solaris, which I guess would be more for like bossing. And then there's Soul of Arakali. Uh, which would be pretty cool for things like uh, Righteous Fire, in my opinion. It synergizes very well. I don't actually know what this one is for. I'm guessing this is potentially an Act 9 and 10 that we don't have yet. Then we have, like, Soul of Yagul. We also have Soul of Aberath. Uh, one thing to note is that Aberath should be the first one that you get. I believe Aberath the first, and then I think Brine King might actually be the first um, the first major one. I could be wrong on that. Uh, we've got Grithkal here, along with Tukahama. Uh, I don't even know how to say this guy. Ralakesh, I think Ralakesh. Uh, and Rysal, uh, the little what? You can have fun pronouncing that one as well. So once you've selected which pantheons you kind of want, you know, um, so first off, these things can also be adjusted in town, actually. You can literally just click between them. You don't have to respec or orb of regret or whatever. It's, it's kind of irrelevant. Um, and actually, according to my chat, I believe they said Tukahama is the first one you get, uh, which I think is actually correct. So when you're ready to kind of upgrade your pantheon to the next tier, you need to acquire an item called a Divine Vessel. Now, Divine Vessels are random drops that are kind of just dropped all over the place. Not literally all over the place, they're quite rare. Uh, if you want an example, this character is level 92, and I have actually only found one Divine Vessel leveling this guy up. Now, that being said, I don't think that means they're gonna be very expensive, it just means they're a bit rare. So what you have to do is you then have to find the map. So for example, we're gonna upgrade Soul of Lunaris for this one. So we have to capture the I'm picking really bad names to pronounce here. Arachnoxia, or something like that. So there is a boss, I believe, named after this target, and it is, after, it is inside Sewer. So I'm going to go ahead and open a Sewer map with my Divine Vessel. And all we have to do now, I mean, you can quality it, you can, you know, alk it, you can do whatever you want to the map. It doesn't really matter. All you have to do is kill the actual boss inside there, and the target... Okay, well, I guess we're getting Plague of Rats in here, too. But once you actually kill the target, you should be able to just um, essentially trade in the soul. So let me show you guys that, or the Pantheon thing, whatever it's called specifically. Where is she at? One other thing to note is that Pantheons are character-bound. So unlike the Atlas, which is account-bound, the Pantheon is specifically for just one character. Meaning that if I were to, for example, die on this character in hardcore, right? Uh, I would have to pretty much do this all over again. So actually, this is the boss you can see, Arachnoxia. And let's go ahead and just portal back now. And if you open up your map device, you'll actually find the Captured Soul, which cannot be traded or modified. However, I still believe you could potentially have someone open up, like say you open up this portal and someone goes in and kills the boss. I don't know if you have to be in the boss, or like the like in the room to get the credit or anything, because I'm not really sure. The reason why I bring that up is when you get into your higher tier maps and you're running, for example, like let's use Soul of Arakali, 
Capture Shadow of the Vol or Vale. Uh, that is in a maze map, and maze is a higher tier map. It's actually, do I have it on my atlas? I may have removed it. Is it this one? Maze is actually a tier 14 map, and this is important to note because this can conflict with people who are shaping their atlas to be a certain way. So make sure you take note into that when you're you know, paying attention to your uh, Pantheon. So all you have to do then with this new captured soul is you just have to go to Sin, who should be in Act 8 right here on the left, and all you got to do is just talk to him. And if you look at your Pantheon, right, it should automatically apply to it. And you now have the next tier. And you would just pretty much do the exact same thing to tier it up again. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to keep you guys a little up to date so you guys can get ready for 3.0. If you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Make, make sure you guys say hello to uh, Twitch chat over there. And uh, anyway, I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Let's have a wonderful time, everybody.